80% of all art is female. For, for people, the female is easier to look at. For artists, it's a cleaner line. When um, Michelangelo sculpting David, that's not a printing, that's not the right size or scale. That's not to scale, let's say. That's, it's been generified. Okay, so, you, so it doesn't distract you. Photography is a different language. When you're photographing a male nude in, in the photograph, it's you know, it's a point of interest. People are like, how big is it? And it's just more, there's more to see, <laughs> basically. <Yeah. laughs> Thank you. Um, danke schön. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> um, I said to Reiner, today it's uh, like the Rio of Europe. Last night the life bomb. <laughs> and uh, Rio is very warm and very sexy and very hot. And, and uh, so is Vienna. The picture, the poster that everyone was talking about um, was definitely meant to provoke thought, but it was never meant to provoke anger or um, uh, shock or to disturb people. So please, if you have any questions about my work or me or you want my phone number or anything, just... <laughs> How much work is it or how much is it really effortless well some parts of it are work, more more work and harder like editing for me is a real chore because i never you know it's hard to choose but the shoot is it's passion driven and fun and exciting and you know it's always challenging because we're doing something different well thank you so much uh, uh thank you sir. Before I came, I was excited about taking the photograph because I already wanted to do this series of the goddess, of the female and the male energy. And then I met Carmen and I talked to both of them and Carmen was very comfortable with the idea of having um, her penis in the photograph as long as it looked beautiful, she said. Carmen had the idea to also photograph her as a woman so, you know, we tucked her penis between her legs and then I did another picture and then I just took away the penis and photoshopped that in. And that was the only part that was photoshopped. And that was really uh, because Carmen wanted to have both images and then the light bulb put the tag Adam and Eve. So it was like this collaboration. For a long time I had this feeling I have to stop, you know, magazines it was done. I had to, to move on with my life. And now it's eight years later and we have goats and chickens. We're growing every vegetable. And I'm there and I'm thinking, okay, I'm a farmer now. It's six months and it was a rainy season. It's the middle of the rainforest. It's raining every day and I get a call. And they called, you know, this miracle happened. This gallery called from Germany, from Berlin, um, Rafael Yelplanka, he said, would you do a show I said, well, I'd love to, but I don't shoot celebrities or fashion anymore. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, you can do whatever you want. I'm like, really? So when he called, 
my dream as a little boy was to show in galleries. So here he said, do whatever you want. And this is what I did. I did the deluge. It's the flood of Noah. It's also the future flood. You know, the flood we fear, the, the things we've been told. But it's not, to me, you know, everyone's helping each other. They're carrying each other. They're reaching for their brother. So this was the first piece. And, and, um, and then I was back in galleries. It's where I started as a kid. So I came in this full circle. And, oh my God, it was after 20 years of working for magazines, I was back in galleries. I thought I could never go back. This pictures you see the refineries. This is the you know the industrial revolution happened, right? We shot this in Hawaii on the jungle where I live, but the gas station, you know, when I saw the image in my head, I saw this little shining temple. You know, I started building them with a friend, and then I started thinking. I understood what they meant. Everyone, no matter what religion, whether we're FPU or whether we're a transsexual or whether we're live in Vienna or live in Dubai we all go to a gas station whether we're Muslim Catholic or we're Jewish or an atheist we worship at the gas station that's the temple that we all have to go to you know so I made these little gas stations but we're not we're not there anymore <laughs> you know the jungle has come back earth didn't die okay so at night when I was a little kid I drive by and I'd see them at night and be like, oh, they're so beautiful. It's like, it's like the Wizard of Oz. It's like the magic, you know, it's the kingdom. You know? <laughs> I drive by my parents' car. I look out the window at these refineries and be like, oh, wow, all the lights. And then you grow up and you're told, you know, oh, no, it's bad. And so I named them after the amusement parks. We built this set and... You know, to me, this is all the different sides of my conflicts in my mind. You know, the different rooms of the house and my aggression and anger is over here. And my unconditional love is over here when I wish it would grow. And, you know, my body consciousness is here and, and spirituality is in this room. And I hope that my goal, you know, is I want to touch people. I don't want to scare them. I don't want to shock them. I don't want to... You know, I want to bring beauty, that's what I'm trying to do.